to a, it's an honor for me to do this for, I know him as Andy. Uh, he asked that I do this, so here I am. He asked, I'm here. Let us unite in prayer. Unto thee, O God, Father of all men, do we come in our hour of grief and bereavement. Thou who dost mark the sparrow fall, and who dost cover even the hairs on our heads, look with infinite compassion upon our weaknesses. In our hour of need, give strength which thou alone can impart. As we commit the body of our brother to his final resting place, may we realize how weak is every human arm. And may we trust in thy might alone. Grant thy grace to these dear ones this day, and may thy comfort be theirs, as they await that day when death shall be swallowed up in victory. Amen. So voted so thee. Loved ones, friends, and brethren, we assume it here today to pass to pay the last respects to our dear brother, Malcolm Lee Andy Anderson, who was a beloved member of B uh, Aranzas Lodge number 10 1018 and Beeville Lodge number 261. Ancient breed except for Mason. Now, as in everything else, Brother Anderson was very busy in the Masonic Lodge. He, he didn't sit around. He was uh, initiated into a Aranzas Lodge on October the 5th, 1993. He was passed with a degree of fellow craft on January 27th, 1994, and raised to the sublime degree of a Master Mason on March 26, 1994. He dueled plural membership with Beeville in 2009, and also became an endowed member in Beeville Lodge in 2009, and, and then he got to work. He was senior deacon in 2009 in Beeville, junior warden 2010, senior warden in 2011, and was the worshipful master of Beeville Lodge in 2012. Then he continued to work, junior deacon again in 2015, junior deacon again in 2016, Junior Deacon in 2017, Junior Deacon in 2018, Senior Deacon in 2019, and in 2020 and 2021, he was the chaplain of Beeville Lodge. So as you can see, he didn't, he didn't sit around. But me and, <laughs> me and Andy become friends, of course, through Beeville Lodge. He, he knew my dad real well also. But I retired and from law enforcement also up in the Houston area and came down here and me and Andy hooked up and we swapped a few war stories because Andy is the same age as I am. I was born in 1955 so he was old school and I come from the old school of law enforcement and it's a little different than what's out there today and thank God we both survived it and both got out of it because it's nothing like it was when me and him were in there. And uh, I of course, we were friends on Facebook, too, and, and I always enjoyed talking to Andy and seeing stuff that he put on Facebook. He was a, he was a neat man. We mourn the loss of our brother, whose spirit has been summoned to the presence of the Lord and Father of all men. While we are sure that the storms of life can no longer disturb him, we should consider the certainty of death and the vanity of all earthly ambitions. The passing of our brother from the cares and troubles of this transitory existence have removed another link from the eternal chain by which we are united man to man. May we who survived him be more strongly bound in the ties of friendship and union. Unto the earth we consign the body of our deceased brother. We trustfully leave his spirit in the hands of him who doeth all things well. With those of his immediate family, we sincerely and deeply and most affectionately sympathize and we place you in the arms of our Heavenly Father who grants his love and protection to those who put their trust in him. So let us see to it and so regulate our lives by the plumb line of justice, ever square in our actions by the square of virtue, that when the grand work of heaven shall call us from our labors, we may be found ready. Let us cultivate the noble tenets of our profession, brotherly love, relief, and truth. Then when our 
suffers draw nigh, let us with joy obey and go forth from our labors on earth to eternal refreshment in the presence of an all-wise governor, where, through an unshaken faith in the merits of the line of the tribe of Judah, we may gain admission into the celestial lodge above where the supreme architect of the universe presides. The lambskin, the white apron, the first gift of Freemasonry to our departed brother is an emblem of innocence and the badge of the Mason. This we now deposit upon his casket. We are reminded by this of the universal dominion of death. The arm of friendship cannot interpose to prevent his coming. The wealth of the world cannot purchase exemption. Nor will the innocence of youth or the charm of beauty or the serenity of age change its purpose. This evergreen is an emblem of enduring faith in the immortality of the soul. By it, we are reminded that we have a life within us that shall survive the grave in which shall never, never, never die. By it, we are also reminded that we too, like our brother, may soon be clothed in the habiliments of death. Yet, through our belief in the mercy of God, we may confidently hope that our souls will bloom in the eternal spring. We can sign the body of our brother to the earth. The dust shall return to the earth as it was, Spirit shall return to God who gave it. Let us unite in prayer. Almighty God, we now turn from this solemn service to the duties of life. As we go, we pray, O oh God, that thy hand will lead us in all the paths our feet will be called upon to tread. And when the journey of this life is ended, let light from our immortal home illuminate the dark valley. The voices of loved ones gone on before welcome us home to that house not made with hands eternal in the heavens. May the blessings of heaven rest upon us in all regular makings. May brotherly love prevail and every moral and social virtue cement us. Amen. Amen. This concludes the public memorial to our brothers.